God forgives all iniquities and heals all my diseases. Lord, it is written in your word that if I cry out to you, that you will heal me. Lord, it is written in your word that you will take away from me all the sickness. By his stripes I am healed. You, Lord, will bring me health and healing. Lord, your word says that my healing shall spring forth speedily. It is written in Psalm 41, Heavenly Father, that if we remember and bless the poor, that you will keep us alive, and that you will raise us up off of our sick bed and heal our diseases. Lord, you said that if I departed from evil, I would have health to my flesh and strength to my bones. Lord, you said that if I serve you, you would take sickness away from me. I cry out to you, O Lord, and you will heal me. My body is healthy and strong and not plagued by human ills. Father, it is written in Psalm 107.20 that you will send your word to heal me, and your word will not return to your void, and that you will rescue me from the grave. You will heal the brokenhearted and bind up wounds. You, Lord, will bring me health and healing, and I will enjoy abundant peace and security. Heavenly Father, it says in your word in Malachi 3.11 that you would rebuke the devourer for my sake. It is written in Psalm 34.19 that the afflictions of the righteous are many, but you will deliver us from all of them. Your words will strengthen my weak hands and strengthen my feeble knees. You, Lord, will heal. Come and heal me. You, Lord, will heal all my sicknesses and diseases. I release my faith and belief for my healing, knowing that even a small amount of faith as a mustard seed can work miracles. I listen to the voice of the Lord and do what is right in His eyes, and He heals me. The Lord is merciful to me in my weakness, and He heals me. I will not die but live, and I will proclaim what the Lord has done. God has seen my ways. He will heal me and restore my comfort. In Christ I have life and have it to the fullest. Lord Jesus, it is written in John 14:14 14, 14, that if I ask my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth to do anything, that He will do it. So I ask you, Lord Jesus, to heal my body, every organ, every cell, every gland, every muscle, every ligament, and every bone in my body, according to John 14:14, 14, 14. to God be the glory. It is written in John 15:7-8 that if your words abide in me, Lord Jesus, and I abide in you, I shall ask what I shall, and it shall be done for me, so that you, Father in heaven, will be glorified. So I ask you, Lord Jesus, because your words do abide in me and I abide in you, to heal my body of every disease, every infirmity, every inflammation, every affliction, every sickness of any kind, so that I can bear much fruit and be your disciple. To God be the glory. Amen. If you are being blessed with this video, I ask you to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe in this channel. We are doing this for the glory and honor of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
If you haven't confessed or received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time to get saved. Or perhaps you have wandered far away from the Lord since you surrendered your life to Him, have backslidden or started living worldly. Our God is a very loving and very forgiving God. All we have to do is to humble ourselves and ask for forgiveness. The word says in Psalm 103, 12, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. The Bible says in Romans 10, verse 9 to 10, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. Let us pray. Father God, I come to you recognizing I am a sinner and my sins separates me from you. Jesus, I repent of all my sins. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died for me and God the Father raised you from the dead. Jesus Christ, come into my heart and change me. I proclaim that you are my Lord and my Savior. And if I were to die today, when I open my eyes, I will be in your arms. I break every covenant with the world, my flesh, and the enemy. I make a covenant with you to serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now that you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it says in Luke 15.10, Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repents. Continue to walk with God by spending time with Him in prayers, reading the Bible, and fellowship with the fellow believers. All praise and glory belongs to God.